Hello, transaction involving owner depositing cash into the business of 70,000. This is going to be the idea that the owner here putting money into the business. This is generally the first thing that happens oftentimes within a business and within problems related to business transactions because we expect the business owner to put in cash sometime at the beginning of the business. As the business then does well, we're hoping the cash goes the other way from the business back to the owner in the form of a draw. We will analyze the transaction in form of the accounting equation, meaning assets, liabilities, owner's equity. We then have the subcategories of the assets. That we're just going to have to start to memorize assets, including cash, accounts receivable, supplies. Those are all asset accounts, liability accounts, including accounts payable, owner's equity accounts, including capital, and then the income statement, revenue, and all expenses there. Every transaction is going to have at least two accounts that will be affected, and they will be affected in such a way that the accounting equation, assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity, will remain in balance. First question I always ask is whether cash is affected or not. Is cash affected? We can see that it is here. Cash is going into the business. Therefore, we see that cash is going up. Cash is going to increase. Cash is an asset. Then that means that assets are increasing. What's going to be the other side of the transaction? There's going to be two accounts, remember. What's the other side? Well, who put the cash in there? The owner put the cash in there. Owner's equity seems appropriate. Which account under owner's equity will that then be? It's not going to be revenue because we didn't earn it. The owner just put it in there. It's going to be, in this case, capital. Capital is going to increase. That increases equity. That has to happen because they're on two different sides of the accounting equation. If assets are increasing, then the other side must be increasing as well in order for our accounting equation to remain in balance. That means that the liabilities then are staying in balance. So our accounting equation, total assets, all the accounts under the green area here, all assets equal liabilities plus equity. Everything from the orange all the way through all the blue accounts. Is there any effect on net income? No, because none of these dark blue accounts are affected. This is the income statement. No revenue, no expenses yet at this point.